Now, we have having a bit of a thaw and it's still like minus five, but there's no snow. It is coming. So I've got some rocks in my driveway that I've got to move or process or do something with. So what I want to do is quickly inspect these rocks. You know, for example, this one has calcite on it. There's some green epidote. There's an indication here of garnet, and perhaps some garnet coming through. So I'm going to stick it into a bucket with warm water. The reason for the warm water is at this temperature, muriatic requires a bit of heat. So what I want to do is, is very quickly get these rocks soaking just to see what potentially might be inside. But I, it won't be a full soak. In other words, all I want to do is start exposing some things and decide after a bit of the calcite is dissolved whether or not it's worthwhile continuing with that rock or do I set it aside for another day. A lot of these rocks have the, the black garnets in them. That's a nice one, eh? See that? What else we got? Okay, let's put that boy in. That one's not worth it. No calcite on it. Neither that one. Yeah. Might be interesting. In she goes. Wow. My only limitation on this, in the amount I put in the bucket, is when you add the muriatic, it does foam up, and I don't want the foaming to uh, go over the top. Uh, let's take a big one. That might be interesting. Huh. I think, I think we're done. See that? Got a new bottle of muriatic acid. The muriatic acid is at room temperature, so it should be okay. And, and once it starts working, it actually creates its own heat, which isn't too bad. But you still want to do this outside. You don't want to be breathing these fumes. Okay, I think we're ready to look at the rocks. On my left is mostly garnets that only needed a little bit of etching to expose you know some pretty nice rock and in the middle is my bucket of ones that needed a little more time in the acid and then on my far right over here is my basket of deplorables you know to just be grossly generalistic you could put half of them into what I call the basket of deplorables. Right? 
<laughs> you know, rocks that were actually in the majority. Well, some are kind of neat. Like that one has a little bit of garnet in there. And then the rest is the mass of garnet. So on that end, I can probably do something with that. See what else we have. See if I made any mistakes in the separation. Uh, it's not bad. That's just a straight piece of calcite. There's another one that's just mostly calcite. There's an epidote. Massive garnet, but it didn't really expose much. So, the other thing was, these ones here, there's that one, and that one, that turned out to be quartz and not calcite, so they just do not etch. Massive pyrite in the end. The green, of course, is epidote. Kind of neat. Massive pyrite again. All right. Let's look at the garnets over here. That, you know, I'm going to put it with the other rocks over there. I'm not that crazy about it. That's kind of neat. I like that. That'll make a nice specimen for the shelf. Those garnets are very thin. Really cool, I think. Okay, let's get the ones out of the bucket and see what surprises they hold. Okay, let's quickly go through these and make some decisions. Yeah. That's kind of neat. I'm not sure 
what kind of crystal that is. Certainly the clearer is calcite. I like it. I'm not going to do any more with it till I figure out what I'm dealing with. This one has the massive pyrites on the end. I think I would like to put that one back in to dissolve it a bit further and see what might be hidden inside there. Back in bucket. This one has little pyrites in the calcite. I'd like to see a little more what's inside that one. Well, there's up in here epidote crystals. Nice. I like that. Look at this. mix of stuff. So the bottom, the green is epidote. There's still calcite in there. And then little tiny black garnets. I think that's really neat. Okay, I'm not going to do any more with that. And then lastly, oh. this rock. I'm not sure what it is. There's some pyrites. Of course the green is epidote. It's really intriguing on this side. What are we dealing with? Well, let's put it back in, let it go a little bit further, and just see what comes out. There we go. We'll let it run for the night. Okay, for better or worse, here's the bucket of rocks. I actually added two more back in, and you can see it's just bubbling slightly. It is so cold out, this stuff is working slowly. But let's take the rocks out, take a look at them, and we'll call it done. If you can see the sky, right now it's, it's a bit sunny out, but the wind is coming in, it's gonna bring a storm, and my driveway is gonna be full of snow soon. And I gotta get these things out of the way so that I don't run them over with a snow blower. So, let's take a look. Okay. So, there's a beautifully formed garnet here. That really needs to go back in, this rock. There's some pyrites. Oh, shoot. This one needs to go back in. This one, you can see the calcite crystals. Still a lot of calcite left in there. Some pyrites, but it is what it is. Here's another is what it is. I'm not gonna do any more with that. Here's this one. Turned out to just be massive garnet. Is what it is.
Those little ones are kind of neat. Little tiny pyrites. But it really didn't do much else other than expose the green epidote nicely. Okay. Here's a larger epidote. There's the pyrites on that side. Massive pyrite. All through here. And then some pretty cool crystals on the end. Interesting specimen. And then lastly, we'll take a look at this rock. Maybe somebody knows better, but I'm thinking that is calcite. The green, of course, is epidote. Some little tiny crystals of pyrites. And again, you can see the shiny pyrites amongst the epidote. I'm not going to do anything further with that rock. So we're down to, down to one rock back in the acid. We'll take a look at it in a little while. Okay, took these things back out. And I'll wrap this up. There's the two pyrites. Right there, starting to expose quite a nice garnet. And down in the end, I think that garnet is really cool. So I'm really happy with that rock. Hope you enjoyed it. And then I took another look at this one because I wasn't sure what I was dealing with down in here. I thought that might be some more of that pyrotite. You know, big money rock. But I'm thinking not. I do like it though. I think it's a cool little rock. So, thank you for watching, we'll do it again sometime.